So I want to do a bit of an experiment on this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all of the case fans, all five, and I'm just going to see how it fares. It's as simple as that. So first I'm going to run a test where I have all of them, all of them going, and just see how it fares. We're going to play two games of Rocket League and do a GTA benchmark, and we're just going to see what the temperatures and frame rates are like, and then we're going to take them all off, not including the CPU and GPU fans, because I don't really want to have to get a new PC. And I just want to see what happens, so let's go. So what we can see with this first game is that the GPU temperatures are between 72 and about 74, with the GPU fan staying at a solid 60% the entire time. And with the CPU, it's about 40 to 45 degrees, with the CPU fan going from about 28% to, I don't know, 33%. And frames, we are pretty consistent around 200, so yeah, pretty good for the first two games. This one was a little weird. This is the GTA benchmark, and the frames are kind of all over the place. When it's actual gameplay and not loading screens, then it's around 80 to 160 FPS, so very inconsistent. And with temperatures, it's kind of the same. So we started out with like low temperatures, about 60 to 70, and then temperatures got a little more consistent at the end of the GPU, with it ending at about like 71 degrees, with this fan speed consistently at around 40, 50, 60%. And the CPU stayed around 40 to 45 degrees again, with the fan speed pretty low too. And here's a quick sound test at the end of these tests. Alright, so what I did is I just unplugged the fan connector, the fan hub from SATA, so now the fans just won't spin. It is so quiet, and that's mainly because there's only th about three fans, like, actually actively spinning, because the power supply fan's, like, adaptive and won't spin if it's not, a, it's not, if it's not on high load, so let's just see how this goes. So just driving around a bit, um, before the benchmark, you can hear that the white noise of the fans has been replaced by a kind of slight whine from the GPU. Temperatures, the GPU is about 74 degrees, and the CPU is about 50, which the CPU never really reached ab above 50 at all during the benchmark with all the fans. So, yikes. But the fan, the, the CPU fan isn't even really trying, so, I don't know. Let's just run the benchmark and see what happens. So I have the two benchmarks side by side so you guys can see what I'm on about, but this is kind of strange, because the version with no case fans performed better frame-wise than the version with all of the case fans, which obviously doesn't make any sense, because in some places the GPU is over 8 degrees hotter on the version with no case fans than all case fans, which obviously, yeah, that's going to happen, same with the CPU. So, it just doesn't make sense that not having all the case fans means that your game is going to perform better. Now, I think the game is a little more stuttery, but the frames were sometimes like 30 frames per second higher than all of the case fans, like all five of them, but I, I just don't know what to make of that. ...in the middle of the benchmark, and it's kind of noisy. I'd rather, a, I'd rather a white noise from the fans than just this hum, if you can hear it. So, temps also... Yikes, that's about like six, seven degrees above what it usually is, and this GPU and CPU fan combination is kind of annoying. So apparently what loading loading into GTA Online kind of tried to push it over the edge of it, and now we are pushing 80 degrees on the GPU, and it is screaming. Yikes. I'm so confused, this is just, this is like beyond bizarre right now. Oh boy, so I'm, I'm just doing some training in Rocket League, and that's not good. 77 on the, CP, on the GPU, I mean, with 77% fan speed. G, the CPU's fine, it's because that feature cooler is an absolute beast, but that doesn't sound too good. That's, that's kind of annoying. Yikes. Alright, let's get into the test game. So with these two games, it's more of about... 75 to 80, or not 80, but more like 75 to 78 degrees Celsius on the GPU, with the fan speed around 75% the entire time, which that's definitely not great, but I guess it's not too bad. That's basically what my Lenovo Legion case provided, and the CPU is absolutely fucking fine. Uh, it's about 40 to 46 degrees Celsius, and that CPU fan is barely even spinning. It's about like 20, not even 30%, so 
that future core, I tell you, is a great investment if you can. And that is the end of our two games with no fans, except those ones, obviously. And I mean, I guess it didn't do horrible. It's kind of reminded me of what this case performed like. It's just it's just basically 78, and you get that high pitch whine. And the CPU is fine because that cooler that cooler is so beefy for thirty dollars. You really just gotta pick it up. So I mean, yeah, what can we learn from this? I guess you don't really need case fans as long as you have a good enough cooler on your card and your CPU. But yeah, that's that's basically it. So I'll see you guys in the next one, which might be an updated pre-built video because I did one of those about seven months ago and it's quite outdated now and they get a lot of views. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. And I know I promised to someone that I'd do a rehoming guide or a recasing guide or, I don't know, sw swapping cases with this PC from this old Legion case to this new Musifex one. So I don't know if I'm going to do that because it's a fuck ton of work and I don't know if I have the time, but I might. So it's a surprise if it comes out. I'm not promising it, but it might. So yep, like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.